Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it is now the end of September, but I'm just now going to do my September Ipsy bag. Um, it's taking me so long to do this video because the Ipsy bag came, but it came to the wrong address. So if you watched my last video, I mentioned I moved to a new apartment. If you can't tell, it's a new background and everything. Um, so I went onto the Ipsy website and changed my address, but they still shipped it to the old address, which wasn't a problem. It didn't go to like a stranger or anything, but that was annoying because then I had to wait for them to bring it to me and it took like two weeks so yeah so I'm just now getting around to showing you my Ipsy bag and as usual if you have any interest in Ipsy bag videos then you've already looked some up so you probably already have an idea of what's in my bag but I have it okay I really tried to not get into the bag or look up what I have or anything but I, I, I couldn't. I got it two weeks late and I'm just now doing this video. I couldn't wait. So I already know what I got. I already know how some things work. But I don't know how... S wait. No, I did test everything. I think. No, not everything. Not everything yet. So yeah, let me just show you what's in my bag. So this is this month's bag. It's pretty cute. It's gold and black. And like these four girls are spelling out Ipsy, which is cute. Um... Usability on this bag probably low. I'll probably just store stuff in it. This probably won't be a bag that I like carry But I mean I can always use bags. I'm a girl. I can always use bags So let me show you what I got since I already know but you don't um, so the first thing in here is this Ico eyeliner Let's see. I swatched it on my hand and it looked pretty legit. It looked like an eyeliner that maybe I could maybe I could work with. Um, let's see. I do liquid eyeliner Ico London. That's where I draw the line. It's definitely black. It's waterproof, lash enhancing, carbon black. So let's swatch it for you. It's like, I mean, it's just like any other liner, honestly. It's a liner that I'm probably not going to be able to use because I suck at liner. I don't know why they keep sending me eyeliners either. Like, I'm pretty sure I, I unchecked that because I suck at eyeliner. Um, I would try it, but I will definitely screw up my eye makeup if I do that, so I'm not going to do that. But it dries really quick. Like, it's already dry. It's not going anywhere. It's not going to smear. It's a felt tip type thing. Type thing. <laughs> it's a felt tip. <laughs> um... I mean, if I can work with this, then I'll probably like it. Because, I mean, the pigment is really good. Like, it seems like a really good eyeliner. I just suck at eyeliner. But we know this. If you watch any of my videos, any of them, even one, pick a random one, and I'm probably talking about how much I suck at eyeliner. Um, so the next thing is this brush from Crown. Um, I've gotten a crown item in a bag before. I think it was in my first Ipsy bag, and I didn't like it. The item came, like kind of crushed anyway but then after I had just like put it in my bag and like sorry for all the paper smashing uh, but after I had put it in like a, a makeup bag and not use it for a while it just like fell apart and it wasn't something I was really going to use anyway so I wasn't like heartbroken but that was like my least favorite item that I've gotten in the Ipsy bag thus far but this I mean is a brush so I'll probably find a use for it. It is a full size brush also. Um, the bristles are very soft and it'll be good for contour, be good for a little bit of blush. That's about it. Um, it kind of feels cheap. I mean, feeling wise, it's comparable to my Wet n Wild brushes, which I've told you about are very soft. But this one, the bristles just also feel cheaper. So, I mean, I almost do use it. <laughs> but, eh, not a huge fan of the actual, like, shape of it. I am a person who, when I get a brush, I want it to be, like, big and fat and fluffy. Um, so I'm not, like, a huge fan of this. Or an eye brush. But I'll still use it. The next thing, I'm kind of, like, disappointed about this. I... What is, it is this, uh, Briogeo, hmm, Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Hair Mask, and I got a sample of this in, like, a Sephora order or, or an Ulta order, um, like, months ago, and it was just in, like, a little, like, packet that, so, like, you rip it open and, like, you use it one time and that's it, um, and I used it one day not too long ago and I did not like it, but like I said, I had actually gotten it months ago, so I'm thinking maybe I didn't like it because the way I did my hair that day after I showered, or maybe it's because I washed my hair that morning and, like, you're supposed to, like, maybe, like, wash it at night and sleep on it. I don't know. Um, I, I just didn't know if maybe, like, the fact that I had gotten it months ago and just now used it had a difference. I'm going to still try this one more time. I didn't like it, though. That's my point. It made my hair just, like, rough and everything. I have a much better hair conditioning thing that I, like, 
much more. Um, so if I don't like this, I'm going to be sad because, like, I, I want a, like, good hair product, but I don't think I'm going to like it. So if I don't like it, I'll probably give it to someone. It's no sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, deep conditioning mask. You put it on for, like, five to ten minutes and... Uh, oh, for even deeper conditioning, cover the hair in a plastic cap to retain moisture while sitting under the dryer. For Who has an at-home dryer? I'm going to go sit at my dryer for 20 minutes while this sits in my hair. Oh, wait. I don't have, a, like, a dryer like that. What? There you go. Stupid words on the packaging. That's why I don't like it. Okay, next <laughs> are my two favorite items out of the thing. I'm two favorite. Well, I'm just going to show you the one for now. It is this Trey Stique uh, highlighter. It's really pretty. It is like this crayon type thing, and you just like put it on, and boom, there it is. You can see the highlight. Man, my lighting situation is not the best, but it's better than what I had before. Like, you can actually see what I'm showing you now. Um, so, yeah, I will definitely use this item. I really like it. I think they also have like uh like concealer type ones and um like definitely like contour bronzer colors so if i like this that might be something that i um invest in um the color i don't have any highlighter this color that i can compare it to to like explain to you what it is um it's like a it's not champagne but it's not pink but it's not white or silver or gold it's like a few pigments of all of those in one. Um, the only complaint I have is like if I put it on and like barely wipe my finger over it, like it it goes away like very easily. So definitely, definitely set this like really well. And then the last product is this Sweet Lips Organic Honey Lip Balm made in the USA. Uh, waxing, oh, I guess the brand is Waxing Cara or is it Sweet Lips? I don't know. It's organic though. Um, it doesn't smell. I'm honestly afraid to use it because Bird's Bees, which is also apparently like supposed to be good for you, hurts me. Like it hurts the inside of my lips. It used to not, but the last few times I've used it, it hurts the inside of my lips as if I've like bitten my lips while eating, like chewing or something. And so yeah, I quit using that because it hurt like a, you know what. Um, so I guess I can try this. Hmm. Sunflower oil, beeswax, extra virgin olive oil, hemp seed oil, rosemary extract, vitamin E, honey, aloe, aloe vera, can't read, aloe vera oil, certified organic, okay. Well, if I break out, break out, you know. Feels, feels good, but I don't really like the way it tastes. Ugh, yeah, I'm not gonna use that. <laughs> I'm not gonna, ew, sorry, ew. I already wrote the Ipsy review that I liked it, but I lied. Sorry, Ipsy. I just, I figured I'd like it, but I don't. Sorry. I don't really like, oh my god. Time out. I have to get, get this off my lips. Ew. Ew. It's day my lips too. Ugh. Ugh. God. Okay, y'all. I do not recommend this. That tastes awful. Ugh, that tastes awful. Ipsy, are you trying to kill us? Lord. Okay, well, I don't like that. I'm going to throw this out right now. Mm. Mm. Miss the trash can, but that's okay. So, out of the five items that I got, I really like four of them. Oh, well, I guess I don't really like all of them. So, out of the five items I got, I like three of them. Um, so, yeah, this Ipsy bag, I guess I'm not too crazy about. I, I mean, I've been wanting to get a brush in an Ipsy bag, so, like, I'm definitely going to use this. I'm going to wash it first. I'm going to set it over here. I mean, I will always take a highlighter. And then eyeliner, I'm always willing to try a new eyeliner. I mean... Any eyeliner that can make it easier for me to do eyeliner, I'm probably going to buy. I mean, I don't know how much this actually costs, but I'll find out and I'll put it all below. Yeah, I will put all of the full-size items or maybe not full-size, but like, like, oh god, about to drop it. Like, I think this might actually be full-size, so I will see how much this size costs. Um, if they don't, if it doesn't say this, um... If it doesn't have this size, I will just go full size and let you know what it costs to let you know if the $10 Ipsy bag is worth it. Yeah, um, as always, the Ipsy bag is $10 a month and you get a free bag that you get to keep um, with like the five items. And also, if you are a member of Ipsy, sometimes Ipsy gives you like coupons for things. Like uh, a couple months ago, they had $5 off of a ColourPop purchase, so that's basically free shipping. So I got to treat myself to an extra item. Um, 
And then sometimes they'll have like deals on this. Like probably if I were to go onto Ipsy's website right now, I could probably get one of these for like 20% off or something. Um, or like a, the Ico eyeliner. Um, also, um, once you start getting your bags, uh, you can review the bag, like re review each item. And each review you get earns you points. You you accumulate the points and then you spend your points on a, a, like another item to come in, in like your future bag, I guess. I haven't accumulated enough points yet to really know how that works. But I know last month and maybe the month before they had the Hourglass Foundation Sticks. If you had like 700 points or something and I was like... Dang it, I really wish I had those points because I would have loved to try those. Um, so yeah, that's like a perk of Ipsy. That's why I keep that's why I keep getting the bags each month because I'm just like, if I don't like the bag, I can still like use like the perks and the discount codes and everything. So I'll probably stick with it for now. I mean, if I don't like next month's bag, I might not. Um, but yeah, so come back and I will probably have a video up not too long from now on a review on this to see how I like it one more time. This, uh, I will let you know how I feel about this. I'll probably do it all in like one video and I'll try to do eyeliner in a video. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye!